Hey, what's going on guys? I want to show you guys one of our local SEO strategies that we're seeing get some pretty decent movement right now in the Google Maps side of things. Um, so if we take a look here back in September, uh, one of their keywords like AC repair company was at position nine. Um, going to November, it improved a little bit. November improved more and then now we are at position three. So you can see we went from position nine to position three now since September. Same thing with the other keyword, like AC repair was position six. Now we're at position three. Then moving into the winter here recently, we started optimizing more for the heat, heating repair side of things. So heating repair near me was at position five and now we're at position. Um, so we're seeing some pretty good movement there. Let me go ahead and show you guys what the strategy looks like so this is the mind map here um the overall idea is that one we're creating the proper website structure two we're actually optimizing the content properly and then three we're doing internal and external linking um, that is going to help with those google map rankings so here we have our money website right so this is like the home page of your website um, and then two depending on your on your niche, I would say your industry, you may have different uh, top level category pages, right? Uh, normally, these are going to be the category you have on your Google business profile, right? Of course, this is a HVAC client, so they are going to have air conditioning as a category, and then they're also going to have heating repair as a category, right? And that's why we have primary these two primary uh, category pages, right? top level category pages. And then we have our, what we call supporting pages, right? So these are going to help support this main page right here. Uh, and then of course we're linking those together, right? So each one of these pages uh, is going to link to the other, right? So from there, the next step would be to create a batch of blog posts. So we will create, normally I like to create a batch of blog posts in three. So we'll create three blogs about the same topic, right? Obviously a different title, but it'll be about the same category, right? So we'll, in this uh, case, we created three different blogs about heating repair or various heating uh, repair topics. And then we also link these blogs to the service pages, but then we also link these blogs to our Google business profile. Going back to the service pages, these service pages will link back to a supporting page. That supporting page could be this top level category page, or it could be one of these additional service pages, right? So for example, in the maintenance page, I can link to the repair page. From the repair page, I could even link back to our homepage. And normally what I like to do is I like to link once to the homepage and then I'll link up uh, another time to a supporting page, like another service page. And then three, I'll do a external link to the Google business profile. So most of the time, these pages right here will have three different links. Two of them will be internal links. And then one of them will be a external link to the Google business profile. Exact same thing with these blog posts. These blog posts will also have a minimum of three links. Two will be internally to our homepage or to our service pages here, our supporting pages. And then three, again, we do a external link to the Google business profile using the share link or the CID link or the map URL link, right? So both, uh, all of these pages right here and the blog post should have a minimum of three links, two internal and then one external. And one thing to keep in mind, and this is very important, um, this might actually be the most important step right here is to use an exact or partial match anchor text of the keyword you wanna rank for, right? So if we're trying to rank for heating repair, your anchor text that you're using to link to your uh, own website or supporting pages or Google business profile, that link, the text in that link should have your main keyword or a, a partial match, right? So if your main keyword is heating repair, we want to make sure that our anchor text is heating repair or heating repair service or heating repair services in Houston, right? Um, but you do want to make sure that heating repair is in that anchor text. 
So that's very important, guys. Um, and then, of course, here here are the on-page SEO tips that you want to make sure you're doing for the for the service pages. Um, these things right here, if you do all of these things properly, um, you know you're almost eighty percent there in terms of your on-page optimization, right? I would argue that having your main keyword and the city in your URL is probably one of the strongest signals that you can optimize for. So very important guys. And what I mean by that is if you have your URL right here, so we'll have our service, which is in this case, electrical repair, but then we also have the city and the state. That's a very strong optimization here because that's the URL that Google is looking at, right? And you want to make sure you have it as close to the root domain as possible. That's why I don't like to put like services or something like that uh, because it just adds, you know, an additional, it adds an additional folder to the URL structure that is not needed, right? So don't add any unnecessary things to the, your URL structure. Just go ahead and put the keyword and the city right after the, the domain. So I'm um, going back, everything else, pretty self-explanatory title tag H1. Um, these are additional or not additional. These are a must because these are part of the strategy. The FAQ section is optional, but these kind of explain the additional links that I do. Uh, one internal link to the homepage, one to the supporting page, and then external link to the Google business profile. Once we do that, um, our blog posts, again, you want to make sure you're linking to various to your various supporting pages and to the Google business profile. Here is an example of one of the blog posts. Here we have our link going to the map URL link. You can see we have our main keyword, furnace repair. Um, and then if we go up, you can actually see we're also linking to another one of the supporting service pages right here, right? So, um, and then here again. So if we go back, that is pretty much the bulk and then now, that we completed the on-site on our website, we start dripping some posting. So these posting are gonna have the same theme. We're targeting the same category, the same keywords, um, obviously just directly from the Google business profile. So we're creating these posts. Each one of these posts is gonna have at least two links. One of the link, one link will be to the Google business profile CID link or the uh, URL link. And then another one will be going to our top level category page, right? So that's going to be very important. So here is one of our posts. We have one of our main keywords right here in the title. We have a link going to the map CID link, and then the learn more is going to our main uh, heating page on our money website. So that is very important when you're doing these on the GMB posts. So, uh, I, we like to do anywhere from two to three of those on a weekly basis, right? So what I like to do is I want to make, I like to make sure we keep the theme of the keywords the same. So I don't like to mix like cooling and heating keywords throughout the same time period. So I like to do one at a time. So we'll target a batch of heating repair keywords, and then we'll go on to the next, right? And that's essentially what I would do in, in any type of, in any niche, any industry, right? Um, but that's pretty much the bulk of the, uh, strategy here, right? So hopefully that was helpful. Um, if you do have any questions, make sure you leave them in the, uh, the next one.